Yeah, so Rolling Stone has been around since the 60s. It's sort of the big rock and roll magazine and continues to sort of be dominant in the in the music space in terms of magazines, and now more so than ever that magazines like Spin and Blender, I think, have gone by the wayside. So it's sort of the last man standing in the music category in American, you know, magazine publishing, at least big, big magazines. And, uh, you know, it's always sort of had a, a sensibility that's um, been broader than music. It's always Throughout its history, it's, it's had um, serious, you know, you, even you've had folks like Hunter S. Thompson writing about politics, but in a serious bringing a, 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 a counterculture sensibility, a devil-may-care approach to the rules of journalism, but still covering topics in a serious way. And I think we continue to do that. Our, our uh, coverage of the financial crisis has been very lively in that way. Uh, you know, again, sort of calling Goldman Sachs the vampire squid on the face of humanity, that sort of thing. Right. So, it's, you know, we take a piss. And I think that, that Rolling Stone has managed to uh, stay current, you know, and, and sort of stay the the place that's talking about Taylor Swift or Adam Lambert or whoever the, the darling of the day is, um, but also, you know, still has, you'll still see the, you know, the recent cover about the Rolling Stones and how they made Exile on Main Street and the full essay of the, you know, Rolling Stone has been there and it continues to carry forward that reader, you know, a lot of that readership and, and yeah. you know, it, 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 it's sort of a brand unto itself. So The the Rolling Stone ethos is is pretty easy to 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 carry forward, you know. So I don't think we're I don't think we're sort of chasing readers. We're sort of doing, you know, writing in a, in a way that continues to be youthful and writing in a way that continues to be lively and not something that you're going to read in the in the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. This is a, you're going to know that you pick this story up that, you know, even if it's a news story and it's serious, that it's a it's you're still reading Rolling Stone. That that should that should come through.